Hey there, Sart here. Um, we've got a, a new, you know, weekly uh, challenge dungeon here that gives some fairly decent rewards. Sadly, no 3,000 lapis this time, but we do get a lot of Master Crowns and um, some STMR moogles if you clear all four levels of this uh, a Strength to Sever Sorrow, which is against Van Harma. Um, it is unit exclusive, but it's all FFBE units, so that's a pretty big pool, and that means we get to take our best girls, Esther and Sylvie. Um, we're going to do this in a super budget fashion, too. I'll show you. You can use this team to do all four levels. Um, let's take a quick look. Van Harma is a human, all right, so make sure you've got your human killers. Um, mainly uses physical attacks. That means Runda's coming to the party. Um, and it says you want to buff, uh, buff your earth resistance. Sylvie's got that covered. Um, it uses some buffs uh, and does a powerful attack every fourth turn, but Van Harm is not going to last um, that long. We are going to kill this thing by turn four, so we don't even have to worry about that powerful attack. All right. Um, it does say at the bottom, magic attacks are ineffective due to its high spirit, so it's suggested you don't bring mages to this fight. That being said, this guy's pretty squishy. You could probably still bring a really strong mage. You could probably still bring, like, olive or something and, and just blow this thing out of the water. But we're doing this in true budget fashion. So um, all we got to do for the Master's Crowns, you just got to complete the quest. Level 3 also gives you two Master's Crowns. So if you do all four levels, you get a total of four Master's Crowns, which is really cool. Uh, I believe the level 3 and level 4 give you um, each a 50% STMR Moogle if you clear it within 5 turns. We're going to do that no problem. Um, and then uh, you get some Emperor Gigantars if you clear without being KO'd. Again, super easy. So let's take a look at the team. Alright, here's our super budget team. You notice we're not even bringing uh, a full squad. Um, very, very budget. I've even got an EX0 Sylvie on board here. Um, I did pull a, a spare Sylvie the other day. Um, and so I figured, hey, let's bring our EX0 Sylvie along with us and truly make this a budget clear. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Uh, so Sylvie will be the provoke unit. That way, just make sure Runda jumps out in front to cover all the physical damage, even if it's single target. I think it does mostly AoE physical, but... Uh, it's just good practice to have Sylvie your Provoke unit. Uh, so the standard Durandal, Moogle Charm, and Danger gets the Blood Pumping combo. That will get you at 100% um, Passive Provoke. It also makes Sylvie 100% Physical uh, Evade, which is, is quite nice because Sylvie already comes with 50% Innate Physical Evasion. And then Durandal and Danger gets the Blood Pumping, which comes from the 7-star unit Avalanche Jesse. That gets her up to 100% uh, physical evasion. We're not going to need it on this fight, but just for future reference, um, that's a really nice combo on Sylvie. You can use that in a lot of different trials. Um, otherwise, just standard, you know, basic gear to bulk her up. Of course, her seven star um, TMR and STMR are there uh, with the twin bunny clips and spring basket, respectively. And then just some gear to give her. Um, yeah, just some standard bulk gear. I did give her her own vision card. If you don't have it, it's fine. You don't need it, but you can buy it in the Perma VC Select Shop. Um, so if you've ever pulled a, a premium unit and gotten them to EX1, you should have uh, one of those coins to buy this card. Definitely a great card to have. Um, here's our budget Esther. Um, her STMR is really the only thing that might be considered not budget on this, uh, this build, I, I should think. Um, Guy's belt is great because it has 75% man eater on it. Um, and Guy is a three star unit that you can upgrade to NVA now. And so if you get his STMR, very easy to do. You probably have a bunch of those lying around. Mask of Azura, that's a trial reward that has 50% uh, man eater on it. I just gave her her Storm Bunny jacket just for super budget. Uh, indestructible light because Esther does need the chain cap up on this one. Uh, man eater sense um, just to top up her attack and her human killer. Uh, GF extension is there just because we're capped on everything, so might as well give her some Esper stats. So put whatever material you need in that slot for some extra Esper stats. Um, doesn't have to be GF extension, can be whatever you want. Um, as for the vision card, oh, that is not the one. That is not a budget vision card. Um, I actually meant to pick Shizuru's card. Um, da, da, da. Where is it? Where's my Shizuru card? Because Chizuru's card can also be picked up in the um, in the shop. You can pick that up in the P VC Select shop. Um, 
Although, actually, this one's not even necessary now that, now that I think about it. Because I cleared it with that other one. Let's let's go even more budget. I'll, I'll just go back to my usual. Um, this is my usual budget budget card, Ling's card. But um, do remember that you can pick up Ling's vision card in the uh, Perma VC shop as well. And that's a much better fit on a budget, uh, budget build Esther, to be honest. All right, so she should be capped on everything too easy. Um, yep, capped on TDH, capped on human killers, capped on LB damage. We're good to go. Uh, Runda, it, this is just like his, his standard sort of, um, his standard budget build here. Um, you know, the Runda arm and backup unit, that's free gear you get from the story. Sword of Light upgraded. Um, you know, that's Awaken Warrior of Light's TMR, very easy to get. And then you can awaken it from the Chronicle Battle. Uh, Runda's shield, that's his own STMR, and then just some uh, Golem Shell and Grand Helm, that's trial gear, and then just some basic bulky gear to bulk him up. Uh, Akuki Chef is a, um, that is a, a generic vision card that you can get, and it's great on Runda if you're on a budget. Super awesome on him for, for budget clears. Um, Elena is here. Uh, this is the, the seven star Elena that can be awakened. She doesn't have to be um, EX3, she can be. Honestly, she can be EX0, and she'll be just fine. Um, you just need her to be EX0 to get access to some of her um, her stronger skills. Although, honestly, in, even then, you probably don't even need that. Even the 7-star one would probably be fine. Uh, Esther's going to be carrying the fight as usual. And then um, she hits Human Killer really easily, so I was able to use some gear just to buff up her LB damage. But, as you can see, she's not going to do uh, too much. Um... I threw this one on her just because um, you can also buy this one in the Perma VC Select Shop. But if you don't have, uh, this is uh, Fryevia's Vision Card, I believe. Um, but if you don't have Fryevia's Vision Card, honestly, it doesn't matter. Just put anything that's got some attack and mag on it. Um, you know, <laughs> Elaine is not going to be dealing too much damage. She's really just here to chain with Esther. All right, so let's get in here and see how we get this done. All right, so um, we're not going to need to bother with, you know, if you have an EX plus one or greater Sylvie, you can um, use her ramping amp and you'll get this done even faster. Uh, but on the first turn, we're just going to do some uh, some buffs here. With our Paladin's Defense, we need to do our Earth buff, so that's Elemental Vines. Um, we'll do Compassionate Night just to make sure uh, if it tries to do any breaks or anything like that. You know, just good to have that in place. Runda will, as usual, just start with his LB. Esther can do True Storm Brand, uh, Bolting Slice, and Calm Before the Storm. Um, Elena will do Way of the Aurora to fill up her LB. Um, she'll do Electrifying Innervation to add Lightning Element to herself. That's not really necessary. Um, Sylvie will do the Lightning Imbue next turn because um, she has that in her normal form as well. But um, it's good just to go ahead and deal some Lightning Damage on this turn. Why not? Um, and just in case you don't have, you know, Paladin Sylvie, um, you know, she can do, she can imbue herself with lightning. Um, you notice we're not using any kind of human killer buffers on here. You could easily slot in someone like Ling, uh, in that, in that fifth slot to bring some human killers. You could also bring Yoshikiri with his intrinsic ability, uh, to give Esther the big 200% human killer buff. Lots of options here, um, to fit in that, that, that fifth slot. But this is just getting it done in super budget fashion. So now we can do Paladin's Offense for the offensive buffs. Uh, Bolt Egg Basket just to give... Um, that's more just to give Elena a slightly bigger Amplify. And then um, we'll do... Uh, we'll do Paladin's Resolve. Why not? Runda can just guard. Um, Esther and Elena will LB. Alright, this one should knock it down to somewhere around between probably... Somewhere around 50, 60 percent. We'll find out. Yeah, 60 percent. That's fine. We're good. All right. So now Runda can do his SLB. Um, Esther and um, Elena will just get set 
up again. Ba -ba -ba. Just chain it up. Do a little uh, side damage here. Um, yeah, honestly, Sylvie doesn't really need to do much here, so she can just do she can do whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just have her do her buffs. Why not? All right, and uh, these two will just chain it up. So you notice he's got physical resistance up. We're still dealing, you know, good damage, but uh, that will go away next turn for our final burst where we will kill this thing uh, big time. All right, so now we just go in for the kill. Should be easy peasy. Chain it up. And there you go, he did. Easy peasy. Yeah, so this one's really not much of a challenge. You could probably go in with, you know, if if you've got a really strong uh, set of units, if you got like 2B, I mean, 2B is just going to walk in and obliterate this thing on turn one, probably. Um, yeah, so no big deal. Uh, yeah, there you go. Esther's dealing all the damage. I think it only has, uh, I think it only has like 2 billion HP. Um, so Esther carried the fight, so... Yeah, the gear on Elena is irrelevant, um, as I as I anticipated. So yeah, you can use that strategy on all four levels. The earlier levels, you'll probably kill it on turn two, on the first LB. Um, but yeah, as you get up to level three and four, it might take the full four turns. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys if you're struggling on this one. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do uh, at least one more uh, rank one Clash of Wills clear for you today. Um, now that we've got the updated, you know, Gumi... Um, uh, Gumi decided to remove that threshold heal completely, uh, which was the right move, um, uh, to be honest. I, I, I wish they would just, you know, give us a, a bug-free Clash of Wills once in a while so we didn't have to, like, you know, do these changes midway through. But um, I think they did the right move by re re removing the heal bug from the Clash of Wills. So I'm going to go back in and do um, at least one more clear, maybe two. Now that the boss doesn't heal, it's probably a lot easier to, to finish the fight without near units. So I might do a clear without my 2B. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how we, how we get in there. And uh, stay tuned, and I will see you on the other side.